Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Young Muslim Readers. Read a child's story in the month of Ramadan. Today I'm going to be reading the book titled Ramadan in Space. Written by Dr. Wendy Booth. Illustrated by Hana Hanifa Ishwari. Bismillah. Here are Hamza and Mariam. They're not dressed in their usual clothes, are they? Can you guess what they're up to? The year is 2090 and Hamza and Mariam are off to space. They are dressed in their astronaut outfits, ready to board the rocket and take off. Hamza and Mariam are so excited about going into space and they are happy because it's Ramadan tomorrow. Imagine that, Ramadan in space. Hamza and Mariam's mom has packed some food for them for iftar. But because they are going into space, the food is in very small packages. Most of the time, Hamza and Maria will be eating dried astronaut food. Yum, yummy, yum. Hamza and Maria bought the rocket and strapped themselves in. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. With a thunderous roar, they are off into space. As they head into the sky, they see the faint, thin crescent moon to show that Ramadan has started. What a time to be heading into space. The rocket travels up and up and up and up. Hamza and Mariam look out of the window and they can see asteroids flying past. The moon looks different from space. It is whiter and round with craters in the surface. The stars are brighter and the planets are clearer. The space rocket settles into a cruising position and Hamza and Mariam are allowed to take off their seatbelts. They set off to explore. Everything in space is light as a feather. Hamza and Mariam float along doing somersaults. They have a game of catch and the ball also floats around. It's the best fun ever. Then a message comes through from Hamza and Mariam's dad. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're having an amazing experience. It's time to eat suhoor. Now ready to fast. Wa alaikum salam. Thanks, Dad. We love you. I love you too. Take care. Hamza and Mariam take out a packet of astronaut food each. They have to squeeze water into the food packet before they eat it. After they have eaten, Hamza and Mariam look out of the window. They use a telescope to look at the earth and they can see the Kaaba in Mecca. Quick, says Hamza, let's pray while we can see Mecca. Hamza and Mariam are tired after all the excitement. 
and so they get into their sleeping bags. When Hamza and Mariam wake up, they go to the window and look out at the stars. They try to figure out which planet are which. My very educated mother just has us noodles. What? You can work out the planet from the first letter of each word. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Hamza and Mariam spend their days counting stars and floating around, but they take a break to do their solar and read some Quran. And it is he who has created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon, all of them floating through space. Quran 21 verse 33 Subhanallah, and now we're floating in space too. Hamza and Maryam are amazed by their space journey, but they want to get back to Earth for something very special. Can you guess what it is? Yay, it's Eid! Hamza and Mariam strap themselves in, ready for the space rocket to return to Earth. They feel the roar of the engine and a big jolt as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. Back on the ground, their mom and dad are waiting excitedly. Hamza and Mariam get out of the rocket and run towards their mom and dad. Being in space was fun, but there is nothing like coming home for Eid. Jazakumullahu khairan for listening to our story today titled Ramadan in Space. Till next time on the Young Muslim Readers, read a child story in the month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.